A second term for Donald Trump in America would be the greatest threat to climate change this century. Today, the 4th of November 2020, he has taken America out of the Paris Agreement. And as Trump toured the West Coast, Joe Biden delivered a speech warning of the devastating effects of climate change, calling Trump a climate denier and a climate arsonist. Air pollution and climate change are closely related. As well as driving climate change, the main cause of carbon dioxide emissions, the extraction and burning of fossil fuels, is also a major source of air pollutants. What is more, many air pollutants contribute to climate change by affecting the amount of incoming sunlight that is reflected or absorbed by the atmosphere with some pollutants warming and others cooling the earth. These short-lived climate-forcing pollutants include methane, black carbon, ground-level ozone and sulphate aerosols. They have significant impact on the climate. Black carbon and methane in particular are among the top contributors to global warming after carbon dioxide. If we are to achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement, then emissions of methane, black carbon and ground level ozone must be reduced alongside carbon dioxide. These reductions would benefit the climate and foster sustainable development by delivering better outcomes through improved air quality preventing crop losses and ensuring that we would avoid climate tipping points that would exacerbate long-term impacts and impede efforts to adapt to climate change.